This is Chris Kelly with your phase one split squat exercise. All right, first split squat, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take an Eric's pad here. The Eric's pad is uh, just kind of my target I'm going to drop down to. If you don't have access to this, you can use a pillar or whatever you do. What I want to do is just drop my back knee straight to the ground and come back up. All right, as I'm doing this, you'll notice I'm coming straight up and down. All right, I, I tell people you should pretend kind of like you have a, a line tethering your head to the ceiling, just pulling you up and down. The weight here is shifted into my heel and my midfoot of the front side. So even if you do lean forward slightly, that's fine. Just make sure um, your weight remains to the front side. Now, to make this exercise harder, what we can do is take a dumbbell and hold it in a goblet position. So notice it's like I'm drinking from a goblet. Okay, we're gonna take it over here. Again, I'm gonna drop my back knee straight to the ground. Should I do the other side? So Equally distributed work here. Now to make this exercise easier, let's say we have balance problems or we can't get up and down all the way. Um, what we could do is simply elevate. And this is one thing, if you can't get down all the way, um, just put a, another Eric's pad or just something you know, a mat that you can drop down to, so you sort of reduce the range of motion a bit. Okay, what I can also do with balance is an issue. So I can hold on to a stick or a wall. Just give me a little bit of support as I'm coming up and down. And that's your phase one split squat. All right, now for phase two, we're going to do what's called a reverse slider lunge. Okay, so with the slider, we're going to use a furniture slider here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put this on our back foot. This is gonna give us a little bit different emphasis, um, but it's gonna help us to load in a little bit different way. So I'm gonna demonstrate. So what I do, I'm gonna put the slider, put my foot here on the slider. Okay, so for, and with this, I want you to think about pressing through the heel of the midfoot and kind of pulling the slider off with your front leg. Lost there for a second. All right, now, so in order to load our reverse slider lunge, what we're going to do is we are going to take away, and we're going to hold it in an offset position. So rather than holding it goblet style, I'm going to hold it to my side, okay? I'm going to hold it in the side that's sliding back, and what I'm going to do, simply slide back, stand up, slide back, stand up, slide back, stand up, slide back, stand up. We can also use a kettlebell um, to do the same thing, but that's our phase two exercise.